It's common for people to speak in hyperbole about what they would want if they were too ill or hurt to express it themselves. I know my family has said things like, if I'm a vegetable, pull the plug. But if the time were ever to come to actually make a decision for someone who could not themselves, having an advanced directive prepared will guide your family and healthcare team to make decisions during a crisis. Here's Jen Bruger with Renown Health. So an advanced directive is an umbrella term that we use to describe different types of documents in informing our healthcare providers regarding our wishes towards our medical care in the event that we're unable to speak those wishes to our medical providers, whether it be we're in a coma, maybe we've been in a car accident um, and we're unconscious, or you know, maybe we've been diagnosed with a Alzheimer's or dementia and cognitively are not alert enough to inform our providers regarding our healthcare wishes. So there are different types of advanced directive. There's the healthcare power of attorney, the directive to the physician, sometimes we will call this a living will. There's the pulse, physician orders for life-sustaining treatment, and then Nevada Emergency Medical Systems has their own DNR form that you can also obtain. So your physician orders for life-sustaining treatment pulse or a do not resuscitate order DNR through Nevada EMS Emergency Medical Systems, they are orders by a physician. And so what that means is a medical team, whether it is our local emergency systems, um, a nurse at a hospital, medical provider, can act upon those orders immediately because of the fact that they're orders by a doctor. And so you can sit down with your doctor and complete these documents in which you would designate what types of treatment or care you would want. You and your doctor would sign off on it. And because they're already orders, that can be acted on immediately. So if you were to do a pulse with your doctor and you guys decided together that a do not resuscitate is most appropriate for you if emergency medical was to respond to an emergency and were able to locate that pulse form, they would enact those orders as designed. Personally, I would say you should have an advanced directive when you turn 18. When you are now responsible for making decisions for yourself and your parents are no longer over you, you should have an advanced directive in place in the event something were to happen to you and you can't inform your healthcare providers of your medical wishes or who we should go to to make those decisions on your behalf. Most people tend to start looking into an advanced directive and getting the advanced directive completed as they're aging towards maybe mid 50s towards retirement age. And I would say around that age line, you definitely should start looking into them. Getting an advanced directive is very important because it is honestly the best way to let your healthcare providers, your family, loved ones and friends know what type of medical care you would want in the event you can't make that decision for yourself as well as prevent any confusion. A lot of times in a chaotic situation, in an emergency situation, family and friends may not know what decisions to make or what would be best for you. Having something black and white where they could see what your medical care wishes are helps them to know they're making the right decisions for you as well as it prevents confusion in the healthcare facility in which your providers, your doctors, your nurses, and your medical team know who to contact and who the appropriate person is to start making decisions on your behalf and enacting your medical care. Renowned Health offers advanced directive classes. To get the dates and sign up, head to our website, agingandawesome.com. AARP also has advanced directive planning guides for free. We have that link also on our website.